Hi, this is Frank Scorpion. I'm uh, making another little video here out in this beautiful summer day at my place um, about anxiety. Somebody asked me, he said, you know, how do you really describe anxiety? What is it really? And I, I think the best way to describe it is just with one simple thing, and that is the body's reaction to perception, whatever it is that you perceive. Now, if you perceive a threat, whether it's real or imagined, uh, the body is just going to follow. You know, you're, if you perceive a threat, your heart is going to start racing, you might start sweating, shortness of breath, tightness in your chest, maybe some headaches, um, because you've got this, this constant state of, of, of a threat, of a fear that's going on. The thing is, about 90% of our uh, perceived threats are just imagined. They are just thoughts and they can provoke the um, fight or flight response. But people with anxiety have a third response and it's fight or flight or freeze. They literally freeze into a position where they're almost paralyzed and they can't move, move ahead. Now we can provoke that simply by thoughts alone. Just by thinking we can actually produce that fight or flight or freeze response in our bodies. Now, the thoughts that are just running through our mind often we're not even really aware of them but they are um, they aren't real they aren't really who we are so there's a really good exercise that you can do that I can prove this to you is that first of all just sit down take take a, uh, some time to write down some of the fearful thoughts that you've got about you might have a fear of confrontation you might have a fear of losing somebody you might have a fear of sickness you might have a fear of poverty you might have a fear of of gaining weight or not being able to lose weight or you have to um, uh, take a risk and, and you're just too afraid to do it or whatever it is something that keeps you stuck something that you're afraid to do or afraid to express just write those thoughts down just put them on a piece of paper and put that to the side. Now grab a chair, just sit in a chair somewhere and just close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths and just bring your awareness back to your body. Now put your awareness, with your eyes closed, just put your awareness on your right foot. And be aware of your right foot. Now move your awareness over to your left foot. And once you've done that, you've stayed there for a while. Now just move your awareness to your right shoulder. Now ask yourself, here's another step in that process. Once you've done that, you see that something has moved there. Something has gone to your uh, right foot, to your left foot, to your right shoulder, wherever you want to place it on your body. Something is moving around there. So now, just think about this for a second. Just as you put your awareness on your right foot, are you the, your right foot or are you the one who's just putting your awareness there? Now, it's, it's subtle sometimes, but if you really think about it, you can see that you're the one that's putting your awareness on your right foot. You aren't your right foot. You are the one putting your awareness on it and all the different body parts. And you can use this for your whole body, really. You can be aware of your whole body. So now take that piece of paper with all those thoughts now. And look at that piece of paper. Look what you wrote down just a few minutes ago. Now are you the thoughts or are you the one observing those thoughts? Now this is basic, just basic meditation that we learn through a meditation course that you can just separate yourself from what it is that you're, you're believing to be true. Now in doing that, every time you do that, you just separate yourself once again a little bit more from those thoughts that, are, can, that cause you so much anxiety. You aren't your thoughts. You just believe you are. You just believe the thoughts. Really, the thoughts aren't really the problem because any thought could just run through your mind and, and you could either attach to it or not. It's the ones that you believe, the ones that you attach to. Those are the ones that are, that are problematic. So uh, it's a quick exercise. Try that, see the, how that works.